Alright, today we found a knockoff game where the neighbor has been arrested and put in prison. But the game is so broken! Oh my gosh! What's up, my dudes? How's it going today? Jack Blake here, and today we're going back on Mobile Monday to try to find some Hello Neighbor knockoffs. These games are so weird, and they're so crazy, and I'm so excited. I think one of the episodes we found Hello Neighbor, and he was like a mom now, and the other ones he like turned into SpongeBob characters. So these games get crazy, and they're pretty much just developers. Uh, just making fake games so that they can show you ads and they're sometimes so funny that they're actually good So if you're new just welcome buckle down for some crazy stuff. Let's go find some games that are just so weird. Let's go. Okay, so I think I just found something. As you can see, there's a lot of like Hello Neighbor knockoffs of like the Minecraft Pocket Edition. Um, but then in the middle of that, we have Heist Thief Robbery Sneak Simulator. What is this? It says Sneak Simulator or Stealth Simulator is a robbery game. Sneak into houses and make it grand theft. What? <laughs> this is so weird. Oh my gosh, this game, it just looks so broken. Oh man, oh, but it's kind of like Thief Simulator. Oh, look at his hands though. His hands are like right in front of his face, just holding a wad of money. And he's like, I'm here to hold a wad of money and shake somebody's hand. <laughs> I'm excited to play these games. I mean, just look at his face. It looks like he's counting the money, but he looks like he, he doesn't know at all what he's looking at. He's like, one, two, maybe? I don't know, I don't even know what this is. <laughs> you know what I noticed as well? Like this guy doesn't even look like he's interested. Or actually, his eye is kind of looking at him suspiciously. He's kind of looking suspicious. Oh, wait, wait, there's just a baby head in the background. <laughs> what? He's not even selling anything other than the baby head in the background. That's so creepy. <laughs> what is this? Okay, you know what? I am excited. Let's install this. Let's go on a theme. Let's look at what the neighbor's life would look like if he went for a life of crime. That would be the most interesting thing. I think it's the weirdest thing as well. And there's probably a lot of games on it. Oh my gosh. I think I hit the jackpot. So as we're still looking for these Hello Neighbor games, I found one called Virtual Bully Boy's Next Angry Neighbor. I think that's perfect. Hold on. What is this? It says, burst tire of car to next angry neighbor. What? What is that sentence? And she's just looking like, oh, you keep bursting my tires. <laughs> what? There's no, there's no reason for doing anything in these games. This is just break window mirrors. You know, those window mirrors <laughs> where you can see yourself and see through them. Those window mirrors. You know what's weird though? In most games, they kind of give you like, oh, you see your neighbor is committing crimes. They're doing bad things. Go in there and try to save the kidnapped person or something. Like, no, this this is just young Hello or young Mr. Peterson. He's just walking around just like, I'm gonna throw rocks. <laughs> what is this game? The next picture just literally says, throw water to neighbor daughter. I, I don't even know what that means. Does that just mean like, what? Hey, thanks. <laughs> Apparently, no. It it it's him throwing water on on her, and she doesn't even look that surprised. <sighs> really, you're gonna throw this at me again? Oh, okay, whatever, fine. Okay, you know, just exciting gameplay of turning off the electricity and stealing their food. This game is gonna be super fun. <laughs> oh my gosh, I think I just found the third and final installment of our series here today because we just found the neighbor when he was young, right? We found the neighbor when he was finally an adult and he was doing all these criminal things and now he finally gets arrested. So it, this one's called US Prison Escape Mission Jailbreak Action Game. I don't think that title is long enough. <laughs> So yeah, I don't know. This game looks super weird. Um, I, I think this is one of the weirdest knockoff games that I've ever seen before. I mean, look at this. What guard is sitting here just asleep next to one of the cells? And I've noticed as well, they're all the same guard. Every <laughs> every single one of them, they're all just like, they're like, uh, what is it, octuplets. They're all the same person. Yeah, but I think this is an interesting trio of games. It's gonna explore like the story of what happens if the neighbor explored a life of crime instead of growing up to be a normal dad. Because that's what it is, and I think the normal stories, and this one just goes to the extreme. Okay, so we have our three games here today. Are you excited? Because these are gonna be some of the most crazy games that we've played. I, every single week, I always say that because I think they're getting weirder and weirder. I mean, I don't know if we can ever top the one where basically
basically the neighbor turned into an alien and then the alien dance party happened you know what that was just a whole thing as well but today you know what that might it might it might beat that i i think it might so we have our three games heist thief robbery sneak simulator virtual bully boys next angry neighbor oh it's the next t as it t turns into the hello neighbor so and then we have u.s prison escape mission um <laughs> this is gonna explore what's gonna be like if the neighbor went through a life of crime and finally got arrested so let's start with this one, as he's a young child, and uh, let's just see what it's like. All right, so we're on the main menu, and as you can see, it literally just says, Hello Neighbor with Bully in there. They just literally copied it. And I, what is going on in this main menu? He, he looks like he's sneaking away, or he thinks he's sneaking away. And then, like, the grandma opens the door, and it's just like, Oh, I can see you, and he's like, Heh, I'm getting away, and nobody knows it. All right, so let's go into level one. Let's see what we're uh, to expect in a knockoff game like this. Okay. So our first mission is a girl is playing with her ball. Go and get it. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? There's no reason. I'm just, oh, I'm just, the neighbor's so bad. Mr. Peterson, why do you choose this life? All right, so here I am just walking into the city. The city that's empty. The, the whole city is gone. I just noticed there's no cars here. There's no people walking around. The city's empty. It's like I came outside and everybody was like, Jimmy, get back inside. Mr. Peterson is walking. So yeah, here I am. Um, I'm just walking to, I guess, uh, somebody in the park or, or something. Oh yeah, it's a park. And I'm supposed to steal somebody's ball. That's just, it sounds so sad. I'm literally running to the nearest park to steal the fun from somebody. Hold on, hold on, we gotta get into character. I'm Mr. Peterson, I, I, all, he, all he does is go mm, mm. So we're just, uh, we're walking and there's nobody here. Hold on, there's nobody here and why am I so tall? Look at how small these benches are. I'm literally like seven feet tall and I'm gonna steal a ball. Oh wait, so here it is. She just left the ball here, that's fine. At least I'm not taking it from her. Uh, oh no, I am, no. I just, no, I took it. I took it and I threw it! Oh, that's so bad! <laughs> oh, no! No! <laughs> okay, go and puncture your neighbor's car tire. They spelled everything right except for this one letter, pretty much. Oh, okay. Well, I guess we're gonna go do more crime. All right, here I am. Just walking. You can see my face. I don't even look happy. I look like, a, like this is my job. I gotta do it. You know, nobody else is gonna do it. So what, what happens if I don't do this crime? Do I just, like, live a good life? You know, is that what happens? Like, there's a timer up on the top left. What if I don't do it? Do I win? Maybe, maybe it is, we're losing by actually doing the missions. What if it was like a big mind twist? All right, as we walk through the town, we're trying to figure out everything that's going on. It seems like everybody is wet indoors and nobody wants to deal with us. We are Mr. Peterson. We are the leader of the town. Nobody can stop us. As you can see, cars have went and blown up. I don't know where they are, they've just disappeared. Buildings are just empty, or maybe they're full of people trying to avoid me. And me, I'm the tallest person in the entire city. You can see, I nearly touched the street signs. Why am I so tall? Dude, I've been running for like 12 minutes it feels like. Why am I running for so long? I'm running literally across town to find out where she parked, and I'm like, haha, I'm gonna go pop that specific person's tire. Or maybe it's because they're the only car that's left. Maybe it popped everybody else's tires. I, I mean, I'm glad that we're playing other games showing that he gets caught because, you know, justice needs to happen. <laughs> the next one just says it's time to disturb the sleepy granny. Go and throw the water on her. I will go and throw the water on her now. <laughs> You know what, I have to make up my own story to make me feel better. Let's just say that she's overheating, right? She has like, she's, she's sick and she just feels very, very hot. So I have to go over there and throw water on her and this will make me feel better. Maybe we're doing good deeds and it just sounds like bad deeds, you know? Maybe she, she was like, I have too much air in my tire. Please go and pop them. <laughs> All right, so we showed up at the house with the door open. Um, that's kind of weird. There's just an open door and it, yeah, we're just walking upstairs. Okay, well, I don't even have water. What, am, I, am I supposed to get water first? Is she even in here? No, nobody's even in there. Hold on. Is she gonna show up? Oh, yeah, she shows up. Oh, and I'm watering her like she's a plant. She's literally just sitting there like, thank you, son. <laughs> Okay, well, I think we've had some fun in that one, but we don't want to give all the attention to young Mr. Neighbor. We're gonna go into the game called Heist Thief Robbery Sneak Simulator. Let's say that, you know, he was doing all this crime and he eventually grew up and wanted to do 
full crime or whatever it is. I don't know. I'm not into the crime business. But, um, you know, we're just gonna see what it's like if the neighbor grew up as a criminal. <laughs> okay, so we're met with a main menu screen. Um, oh, oh, that's- oh my gosh, look at his foot. Oh, this is just so broken. And this is the adult, or maybe like young adult neighbor, right? <laughs> it looks so weird. Like he's like shimming around, like look at his foot. Oh man, it's just so broken. It kind of looks like if somebody told him that he had like dog poop on his shoes. <laughs> yeah, there's what? There's dog poop? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, sorry. But no, what are you talking about? There's, there's nothing here. Just, uh, let me get that off. Yeah, what are you- what are you talking about? I don't see anything. Okay, so this game already looks broken. I'm excited to see what's going on. Okay, oh, we get a cutscene. The city has thousands of millionaires with big houses, cars, and- and diamonds. Okay, <laughs> that's- it's a weird order. They have everything. I guess so. I th are these the buildings? You want to live a better life? Want to own this house? Yeah, sure. I'll go get a job and get some money. And then maybe when I save up that I- oh, let's steal. <laughs> Rob houses, collect cash, and sell everything in the pawn shop. Man, the neighbor has chosen a very criminal-like life. Jeez. Okay, so here we are. I guess we're driving. The road looks so bad. What? No, it can't be like this. This is just the cutscene. It has to be. That road is just like it's stretched. Oh my gosh, look at my hands. <laughs> this game. Yeah. Yeah, the road. The road is just like if somebody took a picture of a road and just stretched it out. And then my hands are like in front of my face. Like this is how I'm holding my hands. Like I'm like, hey, I'm ready to go. No, no. Look at the running animation. He, he literally looks like he's driving a car. No, this is so bad. Oh my gosh. Okay, what am I supposed to do? I'm literally in the middle of the street. There's nobody here. Where is everybody in these games? They all just leave. Okay, we're showing up at a house. Tap anywhere on the screen to unlock the door. All right. Um, I guess we're trying to unlock the door here and get into this house. Um, and um, I don't think anybody's here. Yeah, what, I don't want to do this. Hold on. Let's just... Let's just leave. All right, look, we're just here to wash the dishes. That's all we're here to do. Look, as you can see, we are <laughs> just taking the dishes, I guess. Okay, we're not washing them. There's actually just wood in the sink blocking us from washing the dishes. I, you know, sorry, I tried. I, I don't know what to do. I'm trying to be good here. Look, look, bread. We'll just have some bread. Yes, there we go. Oh, okay. We're just taking everything. I mean, I guess that's what the theme of the thing is here today. What? Fork knife. You know, they couldn't decide whether or not this was a fork or a knife. It's clearly a knife. But you know what? Maybe, maybe this is some new future where all forks have been turned into knives. So yeah, this is exactly like Thief Simulator, I think. Um, it's like a mixture of Hello Neighbor, maybe? I don't know why this would be on the suggested. I literally searched up Hello Neighbor on the uh, Android Play Store and this is what it got me. All right, so we got ourselves a TV. We're just gonna, I guess, walk out of the house with it. Is nobody gonna stop me? No? Are we good? We just have a TV in our hands. All right. So I guess we just walk over to our car and then we have to put it into the trunk. So I think, oh, yep. And we're done. We did it. All right. So I guess I just got into my car here and uh, we're just gonna drive and just, oh, okay. Oh, it's so glitchy. <laughs> it's so glitchy. Okay, wait. Oh my gosh, what if I could just like drive my car through the lamppost? Hold on, hold on, hold on. This is more fun than even doing the real game. I'm just driving around and breaking it. Let's see. Oh, oh my gosh, it's inside the car. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hold on, I can't. I've, I've broken my car. What do I do? What do I do? <laughs> I, I, I don't think anybody could ever do this. It's not even possible. Um, okay. Well, I guess I just glitched out of nowhere. My car is disappearing. This game is great. It's not glitchy at all. So I don't see anybody. Like nobody in the entire town is here. I thought there were supposed to be like cops here that were supposed to arrest me. Weren't they? No, no, okay, so I just crashed my car. I don't even know where I'm supposed to be going here. It does, oh no, 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 no. Oh my gosh, I almost fell off a cliff. All right, so um, I guess what I'm gonna try to do is just see what happens when I get caught. So I'm gonna try to drive to the police to see just what happens. The funny thing is they're gonna be like, all right, what did you take? And I'm like, I'm sorry, I took I took four plates, some bread, and a fork. Oh, and, and also a TV. <laughs> all right, so I'm coming up onto the police. The police are, the police is wandering around. Be careful and quite. Okay, well that's some perfect text there. Um, I guess 
what I'm gonna do is, I guess, drive up next to the police? What happens? They're like trying to run away from me. Wait, oh my, what? What, what just happened? They turned their car around and 180 and just blew up my car. I guess I've been arrested. All right. <laughs> Whoa. All right. So I guess in the chronologicalness of our story, um, we've now been caught. So it is time to go into our final game where we have to escape prison. Um, I think it's gonna be fun. <laughs> I, I have, I'm just having so much fun because these games are so broken. So let's go into our final game. All right. So I just started up the game, and for some reason, there's like a character select, and for some reason, I'm like an alien with a six pack. Okay. So I just figured something out. I could either be an alien with a six pack or a normal dude. What do you think? What do you think you'd be? Hold on, there's more. Oh, is that like Halo? <laughs> it's like Master Chief. I have like max kick power and jump power. Why am I in jail? Hold on, is there more? Super buff dude. Okay, you know what? Let's be the most like scrawny looking guy, which apparently is this guy. Um, all right, let's go into the game. All right, so we've got our first mission. It says gate is open. Get out of prison and kill policemen and get key to escape. Um, all right, so what does the game look like? Oh my gosh, why am I so small? Why am I so small? No, this has to be a glitch. There's no way. There's no way. Look at my bed. Look at the toilet. I'm smaller than a toilet. I, I, I just don't understand. Why do I have a hammer? Who gave me a hammer? <laughs> okay, and what's this button? Okay, we just get to turn into a robotic alien. That's just great. Okay. What? So what do I do? Oh, do the gates are just open. And there's nobody here. There's no other prisoner in this. Th I'm the only prisoner in this entire prison. What did I do? They were like, this man, do you know what he did? He stole four plates and bread. Put him into the prison. Make him the only prisoner. Let everybody else out. Make that man the only one there. So, uh, I'm just gonna go tell the guard, like, hey, the, the gate opened up. Hey, yeah, so, um, the gate opened up over there. Um, oh, is he trying to fight me? No, like, I'm not gonna fight you here today. <laughs> Jeez, okay, I'm sorry. Wait, he didn't even hit me. I'm just slowly walking back. Oh my gosh, this game is so glitchy. All right, so what happens if I... Oh, I'm fighting back now. Okay, and, um... What if I turn into this, like, a superhuman thing? Hold on. Oh, he just hurt himself hitting me. Okay. That's weird. I'm just so confused at what this game is supposed to be. I think are all the... Yeah, all the things are un unlocked. The whole prison is just open. Who's running this thing? Yep, I'm just gonna walk on out. I'm not even trying to fight anybody, you know? I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna walk this... Oh. I just broke the door, kind of. All right, so I'm just gonna walk this. Look at how slow I'm turning. And the prisoner, or what is it, the guard guy is just like, hey, don't you do that. Stop running away from me. <laughs> they don't even have any tools or anything to stop me. Like, where's their, like, taser or something? All right, so I guess that was the first mission. I, I guess let's see what the next mission is. All right, so um, I just loaded up this map, and for some reason, there's a tank here. Like, why is there a tank outside of a prison? I'm the only one here. I mean, I mean you know what? In order to stop me, <laughs> you have to get a tank. <laughs> All right, what happens if we literally just walk out and, and fight nobody? Look, I'm just gonna avoid this guard. I'm just gonna keep walking. All right, look, nobody can stop me. <laughs> what if we pretend like we're doing a good deed? I'm like, you know what? The commissioner, he gave me this hammer and I'm trying to give it back to him. I, I, I don't know, it, it, it still says move camera. I'm moving the camera and the, the thing doesn't, it doesn't go away. There's so many guards chasing me. I'm, I'm just trying to give him back his hammer, guys. So what happens if I just back up slowly? They can't get me. Look, they're triplets. They're all like the same exact person. What happens if I turn into this? There we go. Um, now we're just an alien person and then we'll just kick. Oh, we win. All right, so I've just defeated the guards. It was not that hard at all. And I don't know why there's only three guards here and there's no doors that are locked and I'm finding a key. I don't even need the key. The key, what would I need a key for? And it, it keeps starting the missions back over where I'm inside prison. I'm literally just like getting a key and then sitting back. All right, so I guess that is it. I'm pretty sure that it's literally just going back and trying to escape every single time. And it's like we're escaping over and over and over again in a prison that's like, it's not even locked up. That's like saying, I'm gonna lock you in your room. And you're like, okay, lock the door. And they're like, no, 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 we're gonna lock you in your room, but no locked doors and you could just walk out whenever you want. 
It's like, how, how is that a challenge then? So I hope you had fun here today. All I ever want to do is make you laugh and I feel like we had a great time. We got to see what it was like if um, Hello Neighbor, instead of like being a normal person that was kind of suspicious, he was really just going into a life of crime, you know, and finally just gets arrested and ends up in prison, which was kind of like a nightmare. It was just like over and over, just ending back up at the same spot. Maybe, maybe that's his punishment all along. It's just psychological. Like he's like, I keep escaping and I just keep ending up back in the same spot. So I'm excited this whole week. We're going to do some crazy stuff. Um, stay tuned. If you're not subscribed, subscribe and become part of the DAC pack. I would love to bring more into the community. We are growing so strong. We're going on to 600 K. So tell your friends, Friends. We're gonna keep growing strong. This is our channel and we're building it together. Uh, make some su suggestions. I can't make some suggestions. It's a hard word to say together. <laughs> make some suggestions of what we should play next um, or even how to play a game like Hello Neighbor. We've done some crazy stuff where we've like had dinner with the neighbor. So come up with some crazy concepts. This channel is us together and hopefully we can bring some smiles, make everybody happy and cheer everybody up along the way. So um, I'll see you guys in that next video. Click the top right to keep the ball rolling. Click the little I button and uh, yeah. Yeah, let's just have some more fun this week. So, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video. And as always, peace out, my dudes.